Live breaking news from your news channel. Thanks for staying with us here as we continue on your news channel live at 430. I'm Beth Farnsworth. Thank you for joining us. And we are seeing impacts from this major storm throughout our area. As we learned earlier today, that evacuation has been expanded throughout all of Montecito, Coast Village Road, and other neighboring communities. Areas in high risk of flooding and mudslides during the storm in Santa Barbara County. The entire community of Montecito ordered to evacuate this afternoon. That's the area you see on the right of this interactive map. At the time, Montecito Fire Chief Kevin Taylor, just after noon, he said in less than 12 hours, we've received eight inches of rain in Montecito with seven to eight still forecast to fall. He says, quote, the watershed is behaving unpredictably according to our firefighters on the ground. Please heed the evacuation warning now. Don't wait. Homes and businesses also within the Thomas Cave and Alisal fire burn scars, especially at risk. People in the Alisal burn scar to the left of your screen there, they're being asked to shelter in place rather than evacuate because Refugio Road is unable to be driven on right now. So people just have to stay there and wait this out. Uh, again, this is an interactive map from the county showing the areas that we're talking about. You can find it on our mobile app and the homepage of our website. You can type your address in, find out if your home is under evacuation orders. In Slow County, an evac order issued for areas west of South River Road at Navajo Avenue in Paso Robles. And another important mention is, uh, before we get to Krista, that uh, Santa Barbara County Sheriff Bill Brown is urging schools to remain closed tomorrow as well, right. keeping people off of the roads for safety reasons, he of course. He says he's been in touch with the superintendent, right. Helda Maldonado, and I don't believe the schools have sent out anything Nothing yet. Nothing official yet. With the recommendation from the sheriff, I'd right. say that it's likely. Yes, I would say so too, as we are expecting more rain overnight into tomorrow. Krista. That's absolutely correct. That strong Pacific storm has arrived. Heavy, widespread rain fall for much of the day today. It has intensified within the past several hours and we are expecting more as we look ahead to the next several hours ahead of us. Here's a look at that live storm tracker. Widespread rain, thunderstorms for parts of Ventura County currently and we are expecting much more rain. Here's a look at that future track between right now and about 8 p.m. That system will impact much of the area. It will slowly make its way further south by 6 p.m. today. It will sit right atop of the Santa Barbara South Coast and Ventura County and we are expecting more rain overnight but the most rain is expected once again between right now and about 8 p.m. for much of the region. By midnight today we have a little bit of a break. We still have some rain expected for parts of Ventura County tomorrow as well. We do have showers on and off all day especially tomorrow morning 7 a.m. We're expecting more rain over much of the Santa Barbara South Coast and it will slowly make its way further south toward Ventura County as well. The good news is that I, by Wednesday we do have a break, but the bad news is that we have much more rain in the forecast for this weekend. So we do have flood alerts that are in effect. We've been hearing all day long avoid travel by any means. Flooding already occurring, a lot of debris flow already. Flash flood warning remains in effect until 7 p.m. today. Shelter in place. Flood watch remains in effect for the entire area. It expires at 11 a.m. on Tuesday for San Luis Obispo County and Santa Barbara County and Ventura County it will expire at 1 p.m. on Tuesday. Flood advisory remains in effect until 8 p.m. tonight for Santa Barbara County as well. So once again, avoid travel. And to accompany the heavy rainfall, we have gusty winds out there, powerful winds. We are in the 20s for parts of the Central Coast like Lompoc, Santa Maria, 12 in Gaviota, teens for the South Coast, 23 mile per hour winds in Ojai, and we are in the teens for much of Ventura County. This is why we have several wind alerts in effect. Strong southerly winds to accompany all the rain. High wind warning, 25 to 45 mile per hour winds are expected for anywhere shaded in aqua. This does include the mountains of Santa Barbara and Ventura. Wind advisory in effect. It will expire at 10 p.m. tonight for Slow County, Ventura County and um, Santa Barbara County. And also we do have high surf alerts like we saw from the last system. High surf, a real concern can cause flooding at the beach. So make sure to avoid beaches at this time, even after the storm has made its way, uh, made its way out of the area. High surf 
pressure remains an issue. So that advisory remains in effect until about Tuesday and Wednesday for much of the coastline. Strong rip currents, drowning is possible. Avoid those beaches. So tomorrow we're expecting more of the same. More rain in the forecast. Windy conditions. Temperatures remain nice and cool as well. You'll notice we're primarily in those upper 50s. Chance of rain lingers. Windy conditions linger as well. Much more of the same as we make our way toward the central coast. Upper 50s in Avila Beach and Pismo Beach. Ventura County, much more of the same. Chilly, rainy, and windy is what we're expecting tomorrow as well. Here's a look at that seven-day forecast. Santa Barbara, we have another day of rain tomorrow. We are dry on Wednesday and Thursday. More rain in the forecast for the end of this week and into the weekend and early next week as well. Santa Maria, very similar pattern here. Rain showers expected tomorrow. We have a quick break for about two, three days. By Friday, more showers arrive. That chance for rain returns over the weekend, and we're expecting rain early next week as well. Santa Ynez, 58 degrees. Stormy start the second half of the day. We're expecting less rain for much of the area. We are drying on Wednesday and Thursday, but we will still feel the effects of much of this system, including high surf. So most importantly, for the time being, avoid travel to ensure your safety. Back to you. Thanks, Krista. And we can confirm now Santa Barbara schools closed tomorrow for That's the right. reasons you mentioned. Just came minutes ago. Yes. Right. Thanks, Scott. Well, Orchid is seeing flooding across town as a result of the heavy downpour. And News Channel's Christina Rodriguez joins us now live in Orchid. And Christina, you spoke with people today in Orchid who are feeling the storm at work and also at home. Yes, Beth, today I spoke to some locals who say everything on their schedule had to be changed from doctor's appointments to work. Everything had to be canceled. And as you can see right behind me, it's just flooded with water. Cars are trying to pass through to their homes. The heavy storm across the central coast is having major impact on locals, specifically those who live and work in Orchid. They're seeing major flooding and the Orchid Union School District closed schools and, er and asked to be picked up early today as directed by Santa Barbara County Sheriff's Department. Streets in Orchid such as Mandeville and Ivory Drive are some to avoid when driving. Anna Garcia from Orchid says she was on the road this morning heading to Montecito when her doctor's office called her to turn around. They called me because they are on the scar for the Montecito mudslides. Um, they had actually told me that they were set to be evacuated. So that's particularly the main reason why I actually made a return. And I was like, okay, if they're going to get evacuated, I better come home. Other locals we spoke to in Santa Maria say they too had to turn around and were unable to get to work in Santa Barbara. R rain has been nonstop here in Santa Maria all day long and people are saying that they are going to stay home and avoid the roads at all costs. Live in Santa Maria, I'm News Channel reporter Christina Rodriguez. All right, thank you so much for that, Christina. The storm forced Cal Poly, Westmont, and UCSB to cancel classes today and evacuate some facilities. The universities made the announcements throughout the day. All in-person and virtual classes are canceled. Cal Poly also announced that classes are canceled tomorrow as well. The Santa Barbara airport is closed because of the storm. No flights are coming in or out. The airport's automated messaging system says the air traffic control tower was closed due to flooding. They had to evacuate the tower and it is expected to reopen tomorrow morning around 8. Still ahead on your news channel live at 430. It's not lost on people in the community. Today's evacuations in Montecito come exactly five years after the deadly mudslide in 2018. We look back at that day and the changes that have been made since then. And as we head to break, we are continuing our live team coverage of the storm. Here's a look at our live storm tracker radar right now. More heavy rain falling this afternoon.
It is not lost on many local residents that today's storm marks five years to the day since the deadly mudslides in Montecito. We take a look back. Turn around, the flash floods right there. The flash floods right there. Get out of here, go. A deluge of rain brings down a mountainside, oh often after a fire, taking everything with it, like it did on January 9th in 2018. It's been an interesting journey um, for the first almost year. That video almost seemed like somebody else filmed it. Oh my God, Mom! Marco Farrell captured the mudslide on his cell phone that tragic morning, rushing down Olive Mill Road. Close the door! The destructive power behind that river of mud, trees, and boulders claimed 23 lives, more than 100 homes, and left more than 400 other houses battered and broken. The Farrell's home was one of them. It's also taught myself and my family lessons that we would have never learned. We've had to rely on strengths that we didn't know we had. Because the mud, I mean, it was, the flow was this high. It seems See, like just yesterday. Yes. Um, it's, um, five years has gone by very quickly. Mark Hall was one of Santa Barbara County's search and rescue volunteers that morning, along with a team of canine search dogs from throughout California. He reiterates how powerful that event was and shares unimaginable scenarios the teams came across. Creeks raged 75 feet high in some places, taking out entire neighborhoods. A house propelled 20 feet up into a tree. A kitchen wall impaled by a massive oak three feet in diameter. Like many people that were um, there during the debris flow, it took a long time to decompress to um, uh, absorb and uh, deal with you know, everything that we'd seen and, and done. The community strengthened and rebuilt over the past five years with tireless help from our first responders Ooh, and help. the Bucket Brigade and its thousands of volunteers. Marburg's seemingly endless routes hauling out debris oh. and large scale fundraising events, including 1805. Milestones in the past half decade include new protections, wider creeks, stronger bridges, and new debris basins. What I tell people is love found Jack. And somber notes. Last year, Kim Canton buried the remains of her teenage son, Jack. The search for Lydia Sudatepa, the missing toddler, continues. I think it's made us better people, and it's solidified how much our community means to us. Farrell's video has helped convince people around the world to evacuate below burn scars before the rains come. There aren't too many days that I don't drive through Montecito and through the creek areas thinking about you know, what the creeks were at that point in time and thinking about the people that, um, you know, that, not just the people that we rescued, but the people that came out to assist. All right, thanks. Hall urges the community to heed future warnings when they come. You know, it's better to be prepared than not. And of course, being prepared for a worst case scenario, which we all experienced five years ago, yeah. having today's evacuations and major storm brings a lot of it back. We've got a lot of infrastructure in place, but still, an evacuation warning now extended. Right, yeah, we've had many threats in the five years since then. That's right. But nothing like this storm that we're in the middle of right now. And the flash flood warning has been extended until 12 a.m. Again, you probably got the alert on your phone, which reads it is a da dangerous and life-threatening situation. Do not attempt to travel unless you are fleeing in areas subject to flooding or under an evacuation order. As we head to break, we're tracking the major storm hitting the central and south coasts. We want to give you a look at our live storm tracker radar system right now. You can see that massive uh, yellow cell with a lot of red, a lot of orange, a lot of heavy rain. Uh, we've had over, well over eight inches, if not more now. Eight to 11 town. inches in the higher elevations, six plus in the foothills, five and a half inches downtown Santa Barbara. We're with you throughout the night. Quick break and we're right back.
Good afternoon. Let's talk about traffic. You have been advised all day to stay off the roads, to avoid travel, to shelter in place. That's because take a look at this map. Anywhere where you see an orange cone means there is an issue on the road regarding either mud, flooding, any issue at all. And of course, the 154 is closed both ways and the 101 northbound closed at Mariposa Arena. And if you're headed northbound as well, southbound, there is flooding as well. The best thing you can possibly do today is to stay put because once again, anywhere where you see orange across the entire area from San Luis Obispo, Santa Barbara and Ventura counties, we are seeing flooding, mudslides, debris flow, rocks or boulders falling onto those roads. So make sure to shelter in place. Testing, testing, one, two, three, can you hear me? Um, residents up and down the coast are being urged to stay home and off the roads and to pay attention to flood warnings and evacuation orders. Uh, how about now, is now good? I had it like this before, hold, hold on. Yeah, it should be good now, right? Yeah, okay. And for folks who perhaps did not receive this, uh, City of Santa Barbara just put out another evacuation order. This is for folks in the Conejo Road, Sycamore Canyon Creek property area. So in that canyon area, this is probably a couple of miles from Lotus Land. Mm -hmm. um, this is an area that also gets inundated with these creek, uh, high rising creeks. So if you do live in that area, know somebody who does, you want to check on them and uh, get to safer ground if possible. I want to get a, another look at this uh, situation now and the weather with Krista. That's right. Here's a look at that live storm tracker. It's been unrelenting all this rain live storm tracker. We are expecting much more of the same for several hours. It's currently 455. And as we take a look at that future track by 6 p.m., the system does move further south toward the Santa Barbara South Coast and for parts of Ventura County. But we are expecting rain all night and we have much more rain in the forecast tomorrow. I'll break it all down for you coming up at five o'clock. Thank you, Krista. More live reporting from the scene of rapidly moving water and rain in just a few minutes. We're back at five.